as I'm walking, I see the dog approaching me, you know, so I just pull out my gun, and at that time, I hold it. What kind of dog was it? It was a light-skinned dog, brown, like tan. Why would you shoot, shoot that damn dog? It, was, it wasn't gonna hurt you. Yes, yeah, sir. Bet with another one. Man, we got a, we got another crazy one, man. Like, boy, I don't think criminals be. They, some, a lot of them don't be that smart. You know, you got some smart ones that's pulling off big heists and stuff like that. But then you got the small town ones that don't be thinking at all. They just around here committing all type of felonies, ready to go to jail. Seem like to me, ready to go to jail. I'm going to go ahead and dive into it. But before I dive into it, make sure you like now. Make sure you comment now. Make sure you subscribe now. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe, man. Hit that notification bell too now. Hit that notification bell. So you get the video when they drop. Get that drop when it drop. So we can run it up. Let's run it up. On February 1st, 2022, Austell police officers responded to a call in Austell, Georgia about a man discharging a firearm at a dog. The officers promptly arrived at the scene and quickly located the suspect. Upon detaining the individual, officers conducted a thorough search. The suspect explained that he had recently acquired a non-drivable bike through a Facebook transaction and was pushing it to his home. He encountered a dog approaching him. Overcome by fear, he discharged his firearm into the air, not at the dog. Just explain to me what happened. I just got the bike. Just, you're good now, you're good now. We pat you down. down. Hey, I just can't breathe. I was just finished throwing up right there. But, uh, <coughs> you gotta throw up, turn around on the grass and throw up. They don't throw up on me. Alright, so, I just got this bike here. You know, it's not running properly. So I had to walk it. Back to, back to the other side of the road. Get yourself you know. together, man. <laughs> Maxim Road. Okay. Yep. So I'm walking in there. It's going through the cut. As I'm walking, I see the dog approaching me. You know, so I just pull out my gun. And at that time, I hold it. What kind of dog was it? It was a light skinned dog. Brown, like tannish. Okay. <laughs> hey! Did that boy just say a light skinned dog? I, I never heard nobody describe a dog like that. Like, Oh, that, that was a light-skinned dog. What the? That's a new one now, bro. That's too and funny. I pointed at the dog, but I don't want to shoot the dog. So I pointed, like, toward, away from the, away from the um, children, you know, but into, like, the air, and shot, shot it. And the dog ran back toward that. And the lady said, why would you shoot, shoot that damn dog? It, was, it wasn't going to hurt you. <coughs> Who said that? And the lady. I guess you worked there. Or something. Okay, so you fired in the air. <laughs> Correct. Okay. So after that, then what happened? And then she said that, and I kept walking, and I stopped right here. So I could, you know what I'm saying? I know that I, I did what I did, so I'm not like, all the kids out of the room. All right. You got your license on you? I don't. Okay. Do you have a license? I do have a driver's license. Do you have a motorcycle license? No, that's why I'm not driving it. So what point you was driving? No, I wasn't. Where did you get it from? Veterans Memorial up there by the, um, I met somebody at the, I think that was the Exxon. And he sold it to me off of Facebook. Just now? Yeah, I've been walking it. Sold it to you off Facebook. Did he give you a bill of sale? I got the, um, what's it called? Title? Yeah. You got the title. Where? It's in my book bag. Stay right there. Charlie Poppin' Charlie. Call me Poppin' Mike. Is anything in here gonna stick me? It's in the back. It's where? Back here? No, in the back part of that. This? Oh, uh, here. When questioned about the origin of the gun, the suspect claimed to have found it near a nearby lake. Come on, now you found it. it. I hope you don't never um take no shots at a person, boy, because 
you gonna leave all type of evidence behind if you ain't if it ain't justified. You over there about to throw up just from taking shots at a dog. I don't think you built that for that life, bro. I don't think you built up for that life, bro. All right, they're good. What? Do you mind helping my hands over my head? You fine? Yeah, yeah. All right. So the gun. Yes. Is it yours? Where did you buy it from? I didn't buy it. Who's this? I'm not too sure. Where did you get it from? The lake. The who? The lake. The lake? Yes. Like inside the lake? Not in the lake, but around the lake. What lake? Right there behind Burst Landing. What's your last name? Austin. I can't see what you have to call it. I see an H and a P, I think. I ain't sure. Yeah, HPG for me. Also, copy 69. 22 or 38? 38. 38. Okay. Never seen those little clip on that. Hotel pop up. Officers ran a check on both the suspect and the firearm, which revealed an active warrant for the suspect's arrest, and the firearm was reported as stolen. Lean up against the phone. Right there. I'll, you, I'll talk to you later. Tell me phone. I'll call you just a little bit. Alright. Y'all listen to me. She explained why you being handcuffed. I haven't said yet. Okay. Ahead, so you He said this she is blank. Boy, I thought that was a man the whole time. I thought the voice sounded a little funny. But boy. I don't know, it might be in Atlanta or something like that. I don't know. Got a warrant out of the cab county. Oh, yeah, they got me. Don't know what it's for. Don't even know if they want you. When COVID's going on, they may not want you, depending on what the warrant is for. But you got a warrant out of cab, the cab county. All right, so the next thing I'm going to ask you is there anything in that bag I need to know about before I look through? It's better if you tell me than me finding it. Damn. Well, I don't even got a you got a speeding ticket? No, never had to speed. Some in DeKalb, it's a thing. Some in DeKalb County, no, they no, want no, you to no, know. No. The 69 is ticket. Oh. What's that? I thought it was his, because I, yeah, I miss her. Well, maybe so, still, but still, I don't know yet. Yeah, okay. So, no, good. <laughs> so he good. Yeah, All right. good. So that gun is stolen. That's why you're detained. Yeah. Because the gun is stolen. <laughs> so. So, when you found that gun, one, you should have called the police to turn it in. You know that shit's too good to be true to be laid out. Don't nobody just throw no gun away. Anyway. Unless it's so, right? Yeah, I was in like, it, they was, I just, it was laying out. I was walking with my daughter. Right. You know what I'm saying? Through the path. It was a path. How old is your daughter? My daughter is what, about to be one year. About to be lit. But she, not, yeah, not she at one. <laughs> yeah, at one, she ain't going to say nothing. Um, yeah. all right. You said so. I was supposed to report it? Huh? You said I was supposed to report it? Yeah. If you find a gun, call the police, man. That's or the first thing you do. Station. Take it to the police or call well, the police. Why would you even like, pick yo. it up? I, personally, I wouldn't even pick it up. I would call the police. Yep. Like, it's a gun sitting right here at this. Because if it was used in a crime, it's fingerprints on it, now you didn't touch it. The only reason I touched it because I'm trying to get it out of you, off of you. So, you know, you don't know what that gun's been used for. And now you got to try to, at some point, Pretty depending on how this goes, prove that you ain't steal it. And that hopefully if it's involved in a crime that you ain't. Right. Yeah. All right, so I just so is there anything in that bag I need to know about? Like I said, it's better if you go on and tell me. So I'm being arrested. Yes. Cool. It's called death by receiving. So because you received it. Now look, this is it's a felony, so we don't have discretion. Hold on, just hey, don't get upset yet. Let me explain. So we don't have discretion, so we can't help you in that sense. Okay, if it was just the reckless conduct for shooting in the air. We, we could have talked about it, and him and I probably would have been like, that was stupid, we're taking your gun, don't do it again, right? You can come get it later, but you need to think about what you did. And I fully think that him and I both would have done that. But at this point, the felony, we just don't have discretion. Right. Ten four. Bro, anybody know, bro. They got to be a lie. That what everybody say when they get caught with a, with a, hot, with a hot nut. Oh, I found this. You ain't find that. You ain't find that. Like, bro, who just out here finding weapons on the ground like that? I guess you could if it's in the hood and, you know, they just 
There's a lot of crime going on around there, but you know it's hot. You know it's dirty. Why why would you even want to have that? If your if your record ain't messed up, bro, the best thing for you to do is go buy some fire in your own name. You know, that way you won't be tempted to do illegal stuff with it. This is only for protection. Protecting my family, protecting my house. Yes. You just bro, I would never find some uh, weapon on the ground and just think, oh, I'm gonna just keep this. Oh, bro, I know it could be some time behind that. So, the, the, what, what, the best bet we gotta do is your girl come bond you out. You're not on probation or anything, are you? You'll get a bond, she'll bond you out, and you gotta go to court and prove your innocence. That's gonna be up to I'm you to do. I'm on bond, actually. If you're on bond? Yeah. Ooh. Well, if you're not on probation, that's fine. They'll still what give you a bond. What you on bond for? Um, I got arrested a couple of months ago last year for, um, what was it? The same thing. Actually. A gun? Stone fire yeah. arm. How the hell did you have that twice? Officer searched his bag and found another gun inside, but there were more illegal items there. Bro, you ain't Let's get past this other point right here. Is there anything in that bag I need to know about? It's better, like I said, it's better for you to go and tell me. No, we don't need clothes. It's better for you to go and tell me. Just a little bit. Because I smelled it when I got the title out. Another fire. That boy just with all type of sticks. Should be some weed, yo. Uh, should be some weed in there. Mushrooms. Like mushrooms. Ain't sure. Bro, if you knew you was gonna have to walk that bike back to your house, why would you be carrying all that stuff with you, bro? You ain't think none of that through before you took a shot at that dog. You should have thought about that, like, boy, I got so much stuff on me, like, if I if I do this, the police gonna come. Now I'm finna go to jail for all this stuff. Come on now, you gotta use your head. You should have, if anything, stumped at the dog or anything like that. That dog had you that scared? What you, were you rather, uh, ready to risk your freedom? That don't make no sense, bro. You gotta, you gotta use your head, bro. Logic. You set yourself up for that. You set yourself up for that. And you walk in the bike. You know you can't get away no well fast. You set yourself up for that. That's weird. Hey, Siri, call a little tobacco. Nah, that's tobacco. Is it tobacco? Yeah. He emptied all his stuff out? Yeah. Siri calls Little Jermaine. These tones? There's two other phones in here, too. Tones. Oh, you're too? Yeah. I'm being Kyle County, but I got arrested. Let's 
back in. You ain't think you ain't think that through at all, my boy. There's going to jail on the house. I think this is shrooms. Six and nine was stolen. That first one was the second one. Wasn't. More shit in here, everywhere. Let me get these guns out the front seat. Listen, listen, listen. Just listen up. You know you're under arrest right now. So don't say nothing until I get the remix. All right? He had a right to remain with Sal. You understand the rights that I have just read to you? Yes. Huh? Yes. Okay. With these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me? Met somebody? Yes. Alright. Uh, how long ago? Maybe about a week or two. A week or two ago? Alright, and the other handgun you say you found Yes. At the river? At the pond? Yep. How long ago? About two or three days ago. Two or three days ago? At the pond is where? Birch landing. Birch landing. Why you riding around both of them? You walking through the cut. Uh-huh. There's a, a string. Outside of weed, what all you got in that bag? Um, I mean, we going through it, so it's better to just tell me that way I can. I'm not really too sure. You're not too sure? I know, really sure. I know for sure. I don't have no um, hard drugs. You ain't got no hard drugs? So you got weed and you got mushrooms, you got anything, you got acid. I see you got Tums in there, but. I got some Tums. All right. You got anything else? Acid, um, cocaine, crack, crack, no, anything? No, no, no. All right, so you just got weed, mushrooms? Yep. Mushrooms? All right. All right, sit tight. The officers also ran a check on the bike's VIN number, which returned the surprising result that it was not stolen. You got the title. Why would it be stolen? He got New York State ID? Lima yeah. Hotel Juliet. Yeah. Okay. So that's that. And there's we found uh, acid on there too. He said he, didn't, he said he got mushrooms and weed in there. And then he's got acid, acid, acid too. This thing has I'm so many this thing has so is. many damn pockets. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I read him his rights and he weighed his rights. You put that shit right there on your tongue? Uh-huh. And it can also go through your fingers and hands too. It'll soak into your skin and you'll be fucking tripping. So, wear gloves at all times when we're handling this shit. Cause okay. I read him his rights, he weighed his rights, so he spoke to me, he told me about this. Okay, but he, he admitted to the mushrooms. He doesn't know about this. He didn't say nothing about that. I mean, I asked, I said, you got anything, or any hard drugs, I'd, crack? I'd, I'd show him and pain. ask him. If mushroom. he said he wants to talk, show him and ask him. Yeah. He, he was trying to trip hard. You know what this is? Uh, I can't see. Yep. Damn. What is it? LSD? LSD? Yep. You forgot you had it? Yeah, I thought I took it off. All right, so this, you said took it off, so it's for personal use? Yeah. All right. That explains everything. He probably was tripping on either them shrooms or that acid. That's why he probably did that to that dog, because he probably, in his head, the dog probably looked way bigger than what we seeing. He probably was tripping real hard. 
He admitted his LSD. He said he thought he took it all. He's got like, what do we count? Six or seven strips still. Yeah. It's LSD. There we go. You gonna make charges I've never made? That's fucking awesome. Good piece. That a lot. Was he shooting? At, was he shooting at a dog? No registration. No insurance. He shot in the air. To scare the dog. To scare the dog. Dude, if you know you got all this, why would you, why would you shoot at a dog? Take that damn thing, put it in full gear, and haul ass. That dog because can't he, chase that because shit. Because he thought he took all this? Yeah. That's right. <laughs> probably won't even know dog. Right? Probably not. <laughs> it a purple dog. <laughs> Where did he say he shot it? Right green, here? Got a green no, down there. I guess we need to go look for a spent casing. Just to let see. Me, let me see if they can give me an exact location. Where did you shoot at the dog? Where did you shoot in the air? Like, yeah, you know the stop sign? Yeah. I and mean, he made a left. Right yeah. There. I was making, I was like, I was walking the bike, made uh -huh. the left, and I seen the dog approaching. Yeah. And that's when I had, had put up the arm. Um, man, just out of curiosity, man, if you know you got all that stuff on you and guns, why you shoot at a dog? Because it was, it was right in front of me, sir. But going. it's I, a dog, and you got drugs. You want, you want the dog is pretty big. It was a vicious dog. I know. A dog, even if you kick it. I mean, I'm just asking your logic behind it, considering all the stuff you got in your bag. I think that I would have anything. I got you. All right. Let's sit yeah, tripping now. He was charged with distribution, possession of controlled substances, carrying a concealed weapon, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, theft by receiving, and discharge of gun near public highway. The one that he fired with, which you said is the Glock, that he he was coming over there. He had made that turn. Mm -hmm. The dog was over there. I've got photos of the dog. It looks like a little fucking puppy that looks nice. So she said the dog starts walking toward him, and he says something. They can't make out what he said. Oh, so he fired 10 millimeter at the dog at the, in the air. Not in the air. He fired it at the dog. She says she thinks he just missed, and the dog took off. Okay, so he fired it at the dog. Yes, that's animal cruelty. But he did it right there at the kids' world, so that's reckless conduct. Reckless conduct, animal cruelty, a bunch of <laughs> driving with no insurance. Um, you've got possession of now, all of those. Did she say he was driving, riding on the bike, or pushing? Because he claimed he's been pushing the bike the whole time. We'll have to call her. And I don't know if the bike will start. Oh. Because okay. he said the bike is messed up. That's why he was pushing. Because I put on the impound. Just to be on the safe side, I put on the impound slip inoperable because I don't want him to come back. Because he said the bike, he was pushing it because he wanted something's wrong with it. He may have stolen that shit. He said he bought it from somebody over there, but if it didn't come back stolen, mm -mm. so I can't really. Unless they know it's not gone yet. Yeah. But that's the dog. So, so they said it's just been around there eating, so it's probably walking toward him to eat it. Well, yeah. when, whenever he said whatever, they couldn't make out what he said. He said something to the dog, and the dog just kept walking toward him. And that's when he took it. She said he took it out of his pants fired the dog took off running they said why are you doing that right next to a school and he didn't say nothing and kept walking okay. so with the kept walking i'm gonna assume that he probably was walking bro oh you got to do better man don't 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 get no more weapons bro stay off them drugs man because you had some felonies up in that bag and you do something like that, bro. You should have left that stuff at the house, so you could have just brought one on which. Why you riding around with a whole arsenal out there? And then you sh you letting off shots by by a kid at school, bro. Come on now, bro. Hey, somebody was a small dog. I bet that mother probably like a little chihuahua or something. But you tripping? You tripping? You tripping on that acid of them shrooms that you probably thinking is like a a uh, cane corso or something. That thing was coming at you looking so big, that mother was coming at you like a bill. Bro, that was... That was so silly, bro. You ain't had no getaway plan or nothing. Stop doing these, these crazy drugs like that where it's gonna have you lose your mind out there. And I know that you're not just finding all these guns just all random and stuff like, oh, you just so lucky. You just finding all type of weapons out here. Like this... Like this Grand Theft Auto or Fortnite or something. You, you find the gun over here at the at the lake. You find the one up under this suitcase. What what else you gonna find? Get yourself together, man. Get yourself together. 
hopefully you get a little bit of time to think about this because you definitely need to uh, look back on your life and see all the mistakes that you don't make till next time yes sir